On to Somalia now, and a campaign against al-Shabaab has received a major boost after an airstrike by the U.S. military targeted a camp, killing more than 70 militants. Last week's strike was the deadliest so far this year. CG10's Abdulaziz Bilo with more. Authorities say that the recent strike in central Somalia killed more militants than initially reported. On Friday, U.S. Africa Command carried out its largest attack this year on a militant base in Haradere, a coastal town in the Muduk region that's been under al-Shabaab's control since 2009. AFRICOM initially reported that 60 fighters had been killed, but Somali authorities have placed the death toll at 70, including several senior commanders. The strike is believed to have targeted new recruits who are undergoing training at a militant base. The Somali government says that the fighters posed an immediate threat to the Somali civilians and security forces. Close to 30 airstrikes have been carried out on suspected militant bases in southern and central Somalia since the beginning of the year. However, some experts believe attacks on the ground are more effective. Drones offer aerial support to ground troops, but if security forces hope to make gains, then they need soldiers on the ground. There are no military activities in that region, so these strikes are merely a show of power. They are not addressing insecurity. The government says ridding the country of militants remains its top priority, but its forces are not ready to go it alone. We have to uh, equip and, and train and recover territories from al-Shabaab and, and the Somali security forces require, at, at least the initial uh, few years, require a lot of support in terms of uh, rebuilding and, and equipping and maintaining. Al-Shabaab is yet to comment on the recent strike. Meanwhile, U.S. military personnel in Somalia have vowed to keep up their offensive in the Horn of Africa. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.